This video is sponsored by KiwiCo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today's video is really, really special. I am making over my childhood best friend's new nursery. My friend Adelaide is giving birth any day now and I really wanted to gift her and her partner Felix a nursery makeover. I'm so honored that they agreed to let me do this for them. It's Adelaide's first baby. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more makeovers just like this one. Let's get started. So a little bit of context, Adelaide and I grew up four doors down from one another on the same street. We have been through so many life events together. Birthdays, graduations, holidays, Taylor Swift concerts. Fun fact, we have had a release party for almost every single album Taylor has released. Nice. This is a really big new life event for Adelaide and I am thrilled that her and Felix have trusted me enough to turn their guest bedroom into their first nursery. It's a big honor and a big responsibility. So let's hop on a call with Adelaide, get to know the space, currently a guest bedroom, and talk to her about what she envisions for this nursery. Hello. Hi. It's so weird to be doing this with you, but <laughs> you look very like teacherly today. Running out of clothes it fit, but I've got like a lot of button ups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still am not over the fact that you're having a baby. It's like very weird. Yeah, it's definitely like present now. Okay, well, I'm super excited to be doing this for you. Walk me through like what the space looks like now and what you need it to look like and function as. So it was very recently a like cute enough functional guest room, although a little bit plain. And now it is like a transitional room that has our guest bed and a bunch of bags of stuff that like people have donated for the baby. It's just this weird in between like storage space right now. I'm gonna move the guest bed into what is currently my office. Anything that gives us extra storage is great because uh, even little humans seem to accumulate large amounts of stuff. Yeah. That has become clear already. I'm hoping to nurse and even if that doesn't work out, I'll still be in there a lot doing bottle feeding. So like a space for me to be comfy could be nice, a space for, you know, parents to hang out and just making it like a real space that a like real small human might enjoy spending time in and probably me with them most of the time at the beginning. I know we talked about the tree. <laughs> The tree needs to stay there. Yeah, I mean, it's a tree. Like it's- It's a full on tree. I think it's kind of cute that like, she'll have her own tree in like a forest. No big deal. <laughs> we did actually recently install some kind of basic Ikea blackout roller blinds in there. Ooh. Very functional in terms of keeping the room dark when baby's sleeping, but maybe not beautiful. So like, if you want window coverings on top of that to zhuzh it up, that could be neat. Let's move on to your info because I love it. I mean, I know you so well and like this was not a shocker, but it's so fun and colorful. Yeah, I do like colors. I would say my two favorite colors are green and pink. I like pattern. Pattern can be a really fun way to like make it playful. A lot of the inspiration photos I was looking at were very like cottagey, farmhousey with like a floral or an old timey wallpaper, which I think can look very childlike and sweet, but also sort of looks like an old lady house. Yes. I think if you walk into the room and you're like, is this for an old lady or for a baby, then maybe we've succeeded. Oh my God, I love that. I'm wary of like things that are super, super in right now. I think we have to go like timeless and classy with it. Yeah, I think just being wary of colors that are too, too trendy. In terms of wallpaper, I'm assuming it has to be peel and stick and reversible. Honestly, at a certain point, all wallpaper is removable. It's just like how much work you want to put into removing it. So basically you're open. Yeah, if you find the pattern or the like look that is right, I'm honestly not too worried about it. I know how to take off wallpaper. <laughs> okay, I love that. You're like our dream client. <laughs> do you like do whatever you want. Anything else you want to add before I get designing? We talked about things like furniture that that might be able to grow with the baby could be really nice. I feel like dressers and storage don't necessarily need to be like kid design specifically. I think that's something that they can continue to use. Really, it's like creating a beautiful base for you and like the room and obviously providing you with the basics in terms of furniture and making it beautiful. But then as 
she grows and as you figure out what you actually need. Cause like you're a first time mom. I feel like there's things that are gonna pop up and you're gonna be like, oh, I didn't know I needed this or this. I wanna make it as functional and like open-ended as possible, I guess. So you can move things around for what works for you and have it so that she can grow into it. So I'm really excited. I'm pretty excited. She doesn't know how lucky she is. She's gonna have such a cute room. I feel like the great tragedy of this is that little kids don't appreciate a beautiful space. And then by the time she's older, literally anything I do, no matter how cool it is, won't seem cool to her. We can show her the video when she's like eight. Yeah. Which would be probably so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> well, enjoy the rest of your, your work day. I miss you. <laughs> miss you too. Bye. So here's what I've learned about this space. We need to completely overhaul it. There's nothing about this room that says nursery. So we really have to start from scratch. Adelaide needs all those big furniture pieces you need for a nursery. A crib, a rocking chair, a changing table, a dresser, storage. Adelaide's quirky style is something I've always admired about her. And when Lily Allen and David Harbour's AD home tour came out, she immediately texted me and she was like, this is my dream home. So the goal of this space is going to be creating a nursery as if it belonged in Lily Allen and David Harbour's home. Adelaide's inspo is filled with floral wallpaper. She loves bright colors, pinks, greens. I really want to kind of add that all into the space. I knew for sure we had to do an accent wall with wallpaper that was floral. I also wanna bring in a really big vintage style rug, but that's durable and easy to clean. I definitely know I have to thrift pieces for this space. Adelaide is a big thrifter. She loves getting things secondhand. And I think thrifting a dresser that can also act as a change table is going to be not only space saving, but really aesthetically pleasing. I wanna paint the dresser out all pink to add that hit of pink that Adelaide loves. And I really wanna just add in more like cottage core elements. So like a woodland fabric, a vintage light, a very eclectic and vintage feeling gallery wall as well. Plus I also have to source those big ticket items like a crib and a rocking chair. And obviously weaving in storage along the way. The trickiest thing I think in this room is working around this air conditioner unit. It needs to be there, obviously, it's super functional, but it has this huge hose encased in this plastic piping. I'm like, how do I make this look cute? Don't worry though, I've got an idea. I'm planning to use this beautiful plum color on the doors, the trim, and that air conditioner pipe to make it look more intentional than it does right now. I'm also gifting them KiwiCo's Panda Crate for them and the baby to enjoy. The Panda Crate is designed for infants and toddlers aged zero to 24 months. It's grounded in the science of early childhood and made helpful, practical, and convenient for parents. The crates are Montessori inspired, which means they're designed to promote self-directed activity, hands-on learning and collaborative play, which are all things Adelaide is thinking about. She's a teacher. Child development is really important to her and she wants to support it in any way she can. Being a new mom seems so overwhelming, especially because neither one of us have done it. How do you know what your child is supposed to be doing at this month or this month? It just seems really daunting and overwhelming to like have all this information stored in your head at all times. What I love about KiwiCo specifically for Adelaide and Felix and new parents in general is that it's a resource to help promote learning and development at any stage that your baby may be in. Panda Crate deliveries arrive every other month. Each crate contains two months worth of products and information designed specifically for that two month stage of your baby's development. KiwiCo's Panda Crate makes such a great gift if just like me, you have a friend who's expecting a baby, but also if you're a parent, this is such a great resource. Click the link and use Use my code Alexandra to get 50% off your first month of KiwiCo. Good morning, friends. It is, what day is it? It's Monday. It is pouring rain outside. She looks. <laughs> Graham and Dave are there today painting. This is a three day makeover and I'm gonna go check in on the color. Just make sure it's good. I won't lie, this is the first time I've been so nervous about a makeover in a really long time. I think it's gonna look absolutely beautiful, but Adelaide's my friend and I really wanna make this good. I keep having dreams about it. Like I keep having dreams about her and her baby. It's just a big life event for her and I'm so excited that I get to be like a tiny small part of it. I'm gonna head over there now, see what the progress is make sure the color is right for the walls. Yeah, see you guys when we're there. Okay, the purple is so bold that I'm like, I'm a little bit worried, but they're gonna show me what it looks like on the wall. So as a reminder, we're painting this aircon pipe 
purple. This door that Dave is currently sanding, the frame and the door is gonna be purple. So is this one. And then everything else, including the ceiling, is going to be green. Okay, I've unboxed the beautiful wallpaper. Look how pretty it is. I'm going to hold this up once the paint has been swatched on the wall, just so I can make sure that everything looks good together. But I am like dying over this wallpaper. It's so beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is so beautiful. The green is kind of like retro, don't you think? It's very retro. Reminds me of like a old 60s guitar color. Yeah, I love that. Adelaide texted me and said Felix was wondering if the cats were gonna be in the video, so here we are. What do you think? <laughs> this is so oh, good point. Oh my god. <laughs> so the green is definitely approved by me. It's perfect. Graham is going to do a test swatch of the purple on the pipe. Don't be scared. By the rocks that I got. <laughs> no. Isn't it scarred? Don't be no, don't be fool. Fool. Don't be as scared as I am, viewers, of the purple paint. Let's go, Graham. Let's go, girls. Woo! I definitely think this is a paint where we're gonna need a few coats, so this test probably won't be that accurate. I feel good about the choice we made because it's gonna dry, I think, to like a deep plum, but it's giving me like, it's giving me Barney right now, I'm not gonna lie. I love you, you love me. Are you scared? I'm not scared of paint anymore. <laughs> You've seen it all. Yeah. It looks pretty nice on the roller. Yeah. Are you scared of it? You've seen all the paints probably. I'm never afraid of paint, especially when the ceiling is the same color as the walls, it's the same color as the baseboard. So what you're saying is, I'm good at my job. Oh, you're great at it. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Go for it. Ah, go Got for this. It. Okay. Whoa. Some of the purples in the wallpaper. It does. Yeah, it's gonna get deeper like this. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to see a little test watch. I think it's gonna look really good. Am I nervous? Yeah. Do we like to take risks on this channel? Yeah. Sound like a plan? It's a great plan. I'm gonna head back to the office. Dave and Graham are gonna uh, start painting. And yeah. I was gonna say, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> okay. So paint has been approved by me. We are painting the walls using Benjamin Moore's Greenwich Village and the trim, the doors, and the air conditioner pipe, a beautiful deep plum called Jester, also by Benjamin Moore. Okay, it is Tuesday. The next day, Graham and Dave are done painting the room. I'm gonna see it for the first time. Whoa! It's so beautiful. Okay, the purple actually turned out so well. This is really, really, really beautiful. I think Adelaide's gonna love it. The green is perfect. It's like kind of retro, kind of vintage feeling, and the purple is just like fun. Whoa! The hose from the air conditioner. It's very cool. It was giving Barney when we opened the can, but definitely not giving Barney now that it's dry. Yeah, it's like rich. It's a rich color. So excited about the first craft of the day. We are gonna do a really cool DIY. So Alana and I always struggle with Roman shades. Getting them made is really expensive. We were like, how do we make this more budget friendly? And we found a really cool hack. So for this DIY, we need fabric. No me. Okay, of course, I asked my friends at Tonic Living for fabric. I actually haven't seen it in person, I'm so excited. I will forever say this, but Tonic Living has such great cushions. They also sell fabric by the yard, like this. Oh my God, look at it. All the little animals and the florals. So whimsical. So Adelaide and Felix had this Ikea blackout shade made. They cut it down to size so it perfectly fits this window, which is awesome. So we're going to wrap the fabric over this blackout shade and use hemming tape and an iron to secure it. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also like, this is genius. I'm nervous too. But if it works, team, Alana, GH. <laughs> 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 okay. 
I wanna give a huge shout out to Thrift Diving on YouTube. We found this DIY on her channel. It's so good and such a game changer when it comes to Roman shades. So the first thing we're doing is placing the fabric down on the floor and rolling the shade out all the way. Next, we're measuring the center so we can line the seam up to the fabric. You can totally skip this part if you have an enormous piece of fabric that will fit your entire shade. I also wanna mention that we're not covering up all of the blackout shade because Adelaide's not going to pull the roller shade down to the floor, but obviously you wanna make sure you're covering the amount of blackout shade that you are going to use on a regular basis. We're using hemming tape from Ikea. This is how we're going to fix the fabric to the blind. We're putting the iron on like medium low. You want it to be hot enough to melt the hemming tape, but you don't want it to be too hot that it burns through the fabric and melts the blind. So kind of feel it out depending on which iron you have. We're adding a second strip of hemming tape closer to the top so the fabric is really secure. We're now cutting the excess fabric on each side. We're gonna reuse this extra fabric for another project. It's so beautiful, so this isn't gonna go to waste. You want to make sure that this blind doesn't end up really bulky or it's not gonna be able to go up and down easily. So the less fabric that's folded over, the better. We're repeating this process on all the sides of the blind. We're gonna flip it over. We have to put one more piece of hemming tape down, but like now's the moment of truth to see if it looks good on the other side. Wow, this looks beautiful. Now that the fabric is secured to the blind, we're ironing the fabric in an upwards motion to get rid of any air bubbles or wrinkles that are trapped under the fabric. Okay, moment of truth. Ooh. It looks really good. Couple things I'm noticing right away though. This is rippling a bit and I hate that the white is showing. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna take the shade off the rod and roll it the other way so the fabric covers this white part. And I'm thinking that that'll help these creases. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, some context. We're switching the mechanisms so that the shade rolls this way instead of this way. Oh yeah, this actually, this is a really easy fix. And is the thing going up? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, it is. Oh yeah. 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 Okay, wow. I can't believe we pulled this off. It looks so good and it's also really functional for Adelaide's nursery. We are gonna now do some wallpaper. This is from Graham and Brown. I am loving the pattern on pattern. This is being hung with traditional paste. The good news is that it's just one wall. Not an entire bathroom. We gotta keep wallpaper. Sorry. It's okay. I'm so excited, are you? Yeah. You can't see Graham. <laughs> Graham, you wanna pop your head in? Yeah. Okay, so because Graham knew that we were hanging wallpaper on this wall, he obviously didn't paint it, but a tip is to carry the paint a little bit in, like an inch or two inches. So that way if the wall isn't straight, which it probably isn't, you won't see any white under the wallpaper. You'll see the wall color. Oh, it looks <laughs> oh. <laughs> That is applesauce for sure. Oh man. Ew. Yeah, mix it around. I'm gonna use a roller as if I were painting a wall, but I'm putting glue on the wall instead. Oh, wow. We're putting paste on half of the wall at a time and then sticking down the wallpaper, pasting, sticking down the wallpaper. We're taking our time, but this paste is very forgiving. Because this isn't vinyl, I am very gently getting out any bubbles. This looks phenomenal. It's whimsical and beautiful. I love it. I'm trimming the excess on the sides and the ceiling and I'm repeating the same process for the rest of the wall. Cutting around the window is definitely the trickiest part. Just take your time. You gotta do it like in like progressive cuts. You don't just like hope just for the best. For context, Alexander is not in this frame, but Graham is talking to her. <laughs> yeah. I find the corner of something, and then I'll go like, I'll do a 45 cut so that I can start folding the pieces yeah. like around where they need to go. And then you gotta perfect it after everything is it. down. Yeah. <laughs> because the paper gets a little soft from the paste, 
If you are cutting the edge and you find that it's pulling the paper or it's creating little tears, you wanna wait until it's a bit more dry on the wall before you start cutting, especially in those tricky areas. I wanna keep you guys waiting to see what this wallpaper looks like until tomorrow. Carla's gonna have her good camera and is gonna film it all. Such a successful day. This room looks so, so good. I was getting a little emotional as the wallpaper was going up because it just looks incredible. Can't wait till you guys see the reveal. That's a wrap. Oh, you are a ghost. <laughs> That's a wrap from us. Okay, it's day two, reveal day. I'm so excited. As promised, this is what the wallpaper looks like. And this beautiful light that we installed yesterday. This light is from Yalika Vintage on Etsy. This collection specifically is from Italy, but she has tons of beautiful pieces like this one from all over Europe. Just know here, because these lights are from Europe, you wanna make sure you're either ordering European light bulbs that fit into the lights or adapters. So next it's time to bring in the crib. I don't really know where I'm gonna place this yet, which is kind of wild, because usually I know exactly where everything's gonna go, but Graham and I are gonna have to try out a few different configurations. This crib is from Simply Nursery, a family owned business. All of their cribs are made from solid renewable wood, which is so awesome. It's a stunning crib. Also, I'm gonna pop up a photo here, but it converts to a toddler bed, which I knew was really important for Adelaide. So we got her the convertible kit. Down the line, she can turn this into a bed. I think this is gonna take me a bit to get right. I'm not just thinking about the design of this space, I'm thinking about the functionality of it. I'm thinking that Adelaide and Felix are gonna to wanna to see the baby when they open the door, which is why I think that the crib needs to go here. But also, we have a lot to bring in here and a lot to configure. And I also want it to look beautiful. So I'm trying to figure all of that out. But before I bring anything else in, we're gonna do the rug. We're gonna put the rug down. So excited for this rug. It's from Rugs USA and it's very, very cute. Ready, Graham? I'm using a rug pad under the rug to make sure it's nice and cushy and secure on the floor. So I'll go as fast as I can. <laughs> oh my gosh, this rug is so beautiful. This looks so good. Okay, so now it's actually time to try some different layouts and see what works the best. So Adelaide has this tree, <laughs> it's a little big. I actually think it's gonna add to the whimsy of this nursery and just be like so beautiful. I got a new basket for it and I wanna try and place it in the corner that it was in when we got here and then work around. We're gonna bring in the dresser next. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this dresser. And then place the rocking chair. Once we see it all, we might move it around, but just bringing in piece by piece to see what works where. We thrifted this dresser from Facebook Marketplace and we're painting it out in 36 hours in Marrakesh by Backdrop Paint. I wanted this room to grow with the baby, so I'm going with a dresser instead of a traditional change table. And that way it's gonna be a piece that can be used for years to come. I'm just so thrilled with how this dresser turned out and bringing in that pink color that Adelaide really likes. And this is going to double as a change table, which is awesome. This rocking chair is from Article. I love that it's a slightly different tone of green than the walls. It is so comfortable, unbelievably comfortable. You like sink right in. I love this configuration. Only thing about it is I have a gallery wall that was supposed to go over the change table. I also have these storage cubes from Ikea that were supposed to go beside the rocking chair to hold like books and toys and stuff. They're not gonna work with the gallery wall. Sometimes design is like this. You have a set vision in your mind, you get into the space and you have to just try out a bunch of things until something clicks and works. Okay, this is feeling better to me already. So I kind of moved the tree over and I really like it because you still see it right when you walk in. But now let's move the rocking chair to the corner. I still need to take a bit of a step back -aroni. Oh my God, remember I used to say that? <laughs> I need to take a step back -aroni. I think this is feeling good because the gallery wall can go over the dresser and then all of those storage cubes that I have from Ikea can go here. Side table can go here. There's a plug behind me for a light. I think this might work, but let me, let me take a step back. The only thing I noticed about this configuration is when you walk in, I'm like missing that pop of color on the wall. Instead of hanging the gallery wall over the changing area, we're gonna hang it here. 
The first thing we're doing is laying out all the prints on the floor to get the configuration. Look at this cute little ballet dancer, Graham. Look how cute. Oh, bunnies! We actually printed out all of these pictures. They're downloadable art prints from Etsy and we gave them to Midway Memorabilia. I always thought that you had to thrift these kinds of frames to make an eclectic vintage feeling gallery wall, but Midway Memorabilia makes it possible to have these professionally framed, but still look vintage and eclectic at the same time. You could also thrift frames. We do it all the time, but if that's not for you, then this is a great option. Now that these are all hung, we are leveling them out and we're going the extra mile and sticking them down with a command strip as well to make them extra secure. It looks so good. I know Adelaide and I know she's gonna wanna add to this wall and there's like obviously plenty of space to do so, but I love that we've started it for her. Next up, storage. Graham, would you mind holding for me, please? Thank you. Just a bit. We're really maximizing the wall space in here, going vertical. Vertical. <laughs> going vertical with storage. We attach these to a stud and use a toggle bolt. So these are secure on the wall, like very sturdy. Graham said he could climb them, which we're not gonna test. I have this beautiful side table from Article. And I'm gonna complete this corner with this amazingly cool light. This was a home sense find. Such a good one. This light is like whimsical, but edgy. The height of this like totally completes this little gallery wall vignette. It almost feels like it's part of the gallery wall. I love it. You guys know, usually my tip is to change knobs, but these are just so whimsical and perfect for the dresser and they came with them. So we're saving money there. I'm gonna install these with my drill. Okay, so above the change table, I'm hey Graham. Yo. I'm hanging a vintage mirror to add to the eclectic vintage vibe in this space. I want it to bounce off all the light coming into this room. It'll just make it feel bigger. Graham and I are gonna drill through the mirror. It's thrifted, it already has holes. That's great for us because it's gonna make this mirror extra secure. There's no way this is coming down. Earthquake proof. Earthquake proof, that's so true. I can see Graham's vacuum. See Graham's vacuum. vacuum, I can see Graham's vacuum. See Graham's vacuum. Okay, that's up. So solid, so beautiful. I love that we're mixing vintage pieces in here. I'm gonna center the dresser under the mirror. We're gonna mount the dresser to the wall. So it's very sturdy and safe. Simply Nursery also sent this matching change table tray. And the cool thing is you can actually screw it to the top of your change table. So that's what I'm gonna do to make it extra secure. Now it is time for the finishing touches. I'm placing all the items from the KiwiCo Panda Crate on the lower shelf so they're easily accessible. I'm also styling all the kids books that Adelaide and Felix have already collected. I'm placing this piggy bank and art print on the very top shelf. Adelaide has all these cool vintage trinkets, so I wanted to layer those in as much as possible. I'm placing the mattress in the crib with this beautiful green linen sheet. You know that I had to give the baby a linen sheet. There's no duvet, there's no pillowcases, but let me have a linen sheet. Placing a throw blanket on the side of the crib. This is just for styling, definitely not when the baby is in the crib, important note. Placing a faux sheepskin on the ground to add in extra texture and interest to the floor. Placing wipes and diapers in the changing tray. I love how they're all organized and easily accessible. Placing a basket on the floor with cushions. Placing this beautiful mustard gold poof so Adelaide and Felix can put their feet up when they're in the rocking chair. Styling the rocking chair with a very comfy gray cushion and adding a little shelf to this corner. It was just missing something with a violin, a book, and this knitted heart. Adelaide is actually a music teacher. She's played violin forever, so I think this is a nice little nod to her. Now it's time to bring in Adelaide and Felix for the reveal. I'm taking a deep breath because I'm feeling nervous. Okay, excited? Adelaide. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm so nervous, oh my God. Don't be nervous, okay. I trust you. I want you to walk me through what the space looked like before. It was our guest room. So yeah. we had kind of an old Ikea double bed. It was like landlord beige. And it was like very much a storage spot. So Felix, Adelaide, are you ready? Yes. On the can of three. One, two, three. Oh! Oh, oh my God. Beautiful. 
Oh my gosh! Oh. It's so serene in here. <laughs> I feel that so... way too. <laughs> Look at these bookshelves. I love purple. You do love purple. <laughs> Look at the dresser. Oh my god, oh my god. I hadn't even like noticed. I knew you were loving Oh my god. <laughs> This is so beautiful. This is also such a nice, the, like, like diaper thing. Yeah. Down. Our tree looks so much better than it did before. I love it like, in here. Like, this makes it look way I better. I love it in here. Look at this crib. Everything is so yeah, beautiful. Oh, I hadn't even looked up. Well, I just feel like I keep like taking in different details. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, look, my baby violin is there. <laughs> That's cute. Maybe she'll play it. It looks really beautiful. Look how you like it. It looks really beautiful. It still looks like us, yeah. it, but like a really fancy version. <laughs> Adelie texted me after the reveal. We were both chatting about how like abstract it still feels that this baby is going to be in this room. It gives me goosebumps, it's, it's so wild. I'm thrilled that they love the nursery and that I can do this for them. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any makeovers. What's happening next week on the couch? I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation. Don't be mad at me, but you're gonna have to wait a bit for the next video, but I promise it'll be worth it as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means so much to me, and I will see you very soon. Bye. So since you're here for your nap, I just wanted to read you a story before you went to sleep. It's called Baby Talk. I love you, and you love me. I talk to you, Bye. and you talk. <laughs> have a good nap. <laughs>